Hey, so what's up guys? How are you today? Welcome to my vlog, or rather the mystery video that will, you know, you will see soon, don't worry. I'm not, I'm not saying you will see next week or something, you will see in this video what that mystery video was all about. So you will see, you'll get the mystery, the whole mystery today. I'm just looking for a suitable place. Now, as you can see, oh, that's a, like a quad bike, a quad car, not a bike. It's more like a buggy. Um, but yeah, I'm going to look for a suitable place for that. And then you're gonna get the mystery. Yeah. But other than that, yeah, I've been to visit my grandma. So that's that's why I said I was flying and I forgot about that. When I recorded my last, late, last video, not latest, but last video. When I recorded my last video, I said, you know, next week you're gonna get that mystery. But I forgot, totally forgot that I'm flying like on Saturday and it's like, uh yeah i'm not gonna do that obviously and today's weather is very nice and i need nice weather for that since you know once once you see the mystery i'm not trying to hype it up it's not it's not gonna be like a, a great reveal on it or anything like that i'm not good at those anyway i'm shit at that but you know i will I will show you once I find a suitable um, place for that. Um, I'll go around Epping Forest and I'll check if I find a nice place for that. It's like, dude, I could have turned. But this guy is kind of in my... In my way. So yeah, it's just, it's gonna cut off to once I find a place, there's no point in me talking except if you want some updates. No, I came back, I didn't do anything on my bike yet, obviously. Um, but like I said, I went to visit my grandma, it was nice, so she's kind of delusional at this stage. She has a, I don't know if that's uh, important to you or not, but she does have a, something of a cancer, I think, it, they call it cancer she has like a, something on her nose like a tumor kind of thing they called it cancer I don't know say like, but she's too old to have that removed because it's it, it's too dangerous to remove that now she's 86 so that means you know there can be complications like she can straight up you know die um, or she can just live with that so you know my mother decided like there's no point really taking the risk anyway she's 86 and she might live with that cancer longer than with you know removing it or something right so yeah that was the decision here yeah, we're not gonna do the like chemotherapy or whatever you know she's not gonna go through that at all and she's not gonna have that removed i don't know if it's a tumor or if it's a cancer they call they called it cancer but i don't i'm not sure because it looks like a tumor it's like a, a cancer it's like cancer doesn't do that to your a top tumor does so it's like not a cancer they called it cancer i don't know it's like fucking doctors but yeah um i'll be visiting her maybe at the end of the year I i'm trying to visit as much as i can uh, to be honest because it's like i'm i'm not gonna get many more chances to visit her honestly speaking like we don't expect her to live a hundred years if she lives till 90 that already that's already great but you know it is why it is you know she lived a long life anyway it's not like she lived an average kind of you know lifespan she lived more than average so obviously we want her to live longer but if she's gonna suffer only just to live longer then obviously that's not desirable either for your loved ones so yeah it's a hard thing to to talk about that kind of stuff you know it's uh, how do you deal with that and kind of you know she she says herself kind of you know i don't want to live anymore kind of thing it's like i will die soon and then you obviously want her to live longer perhaps she just says that because she's tired i don't know it's like she eats and everything it's like there's no problems you know it's not like she's not refusing to eat or drink 
something like she drinks a lot of water she drinks like uh, she makes like a instant coffee kind of thing with cream already a kind of cappuccino you buy instant one she likes those so she makes one for herself every day or something or twice a day um yeah she eats fruits and stuff it's like i don't know man i mean if not for that cancer she could literally live at least to 90 for sure I, I we just don't know what that cancer thing is just we don't know she had it like you know tested and everything she went to a, a hospital but you know, they're just gonna say oh tumor or cancer oh we have to remove it or put it on chemotherapy and that's it say like, well that's not a solution at 80 if she was 40 i would say yes there is there's solutions you can do but at this age you know it's like operation is additional risk which do we really need that what are you doing interesting stuff mate well i'm going this way so i wonder if tesla's going left or right or straight rather where are you going tesla going straight good now oh, behind me to bother me okay uh once i find i don't want to make this video like kind of you know sad or anything um but once i find a nice spot um that video which is literally i'll continue from there so you you will get a a cut to that place basically and that's it dude i know i need to slow down i'm not an idiot a lot of shit yeah I don't want to scare horses okay I'll cut to the part where I find a nice place and then we'll do the mystery video not to keep this thing kind of you know off topic all right so what's up guys I uh, found the suitable place I suppose and a lot of people around and cars are really going through so why do I look for a quiet place uh, away from stuff well I need that place in order to play with this thing so yeah I bought a drone and I bought it a long time ago I already have it hooked up and I haven't flown it yet before so this can go spectacularly well or very wrong so yeah that's my new drone as the D dji um, mini 2 se i spent around 300 pounds on it and i bought i bought some stuff other than that i only have one battery though so i have to buy another battery it lasts about 30 minutes they say but it's it's more like 25 minutes something like that it records in 2.7k and you get uh, obviously the remote controller here you have to hook it up onto your uh, telephone so you can see the image basically but I'm total noob and I'm looking at the drone I'm gonna be looking at the drone while I'm doing this because I had to activate it I didn't fly it anywhere really but I had to activate it and take off and stuff like that I already know how to do it but I haven't flown it anywhere to be honest so this is my first time uh, all right so let's press that button it's gonna take off to 1.2 meter okay let's go higher like I said I can't I'm looking at it okay so that's my new drone where are you dude I can't see anything <laughs> with the Sun especially in my face uh, so yeah this one turns the camera around turns the drones around as far as I'm aware I don't know how much you can see and it's flying oh there you go can you go higher I'll show you the footage from the drone as well but I, I see it a bit on my on my screen but oh there you go 
there's something interesting. Okay, he's looking over there. So this one moves it to the side and to the sides, like in the games you can... This one goes forward and then you can go backwards. I'm flying backwards now. I see it there. I don't know how high it can go actually. It's like, on my... Dude, like, go away for now. So, as you can see, I'm flying the drone right now. I don't know how much camera I have left. I can record it though. That's another thing, I forgot to record stuff. Because I don't know how to operate this shit properly. Where are you, drone? There! <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I have to be in my shadow in order to see what I'm doing, look. So I'm in the epic forest somewhere. I don't know how to... You can see the horizon, that's London over there. In the, in the very far distance. So where are you at? Are you there? Uh, come down a bit. It's coming down, it's coming down. Uh, go I don't know where's the front. That's the front, right? No, no, no. Forward, forward. Yeah, that's the front. Ah, here you are. So yeah, that's my first time flying the drone. I at least I didn't crash it, I suppose. Uh, this way. Uh, turn around. Yeah, it's hard for me to because it turns around a uh, different kind of way than I expected to. It's kind of when I when I want to, to go this way it goes the other way for some reason. It's uh not intuitive at all. Because it's looking at me ah that's why uh so look there and then ah uh, okay now the controls work properly. There you are And in order for it to land, I have to press a button though, so it cannot just land like that, I cannot land it. It's gonna give me a message, error message, that it wants to land, but it can't. So yeah, that's my new drone. Uh, I can turn off the footage. I have to buy a new camera, uh, sorry, uh, SD card for it. So, because I used the one from land. There you go. That's landed. How much battery do you have left? Oh, it's still a lot of battery. So yeah, that's my new drone. Oh, it still looks at my stuff. Still sees the camera, sees everything. Like, seriously, I paid for this drone less than 300 pounds, right? And the thing is, is I, I, yeah, I'm not, I, I'm excited, but it's like, I don't have much to say. Um, because of excitement I'm thinking of what I'm doing I don't want to crush it but it's basically I wanted to say that I bought a, literally a flying camera for the same price that I bought my you know XL Pro <laughs> for my helmet it's a, it's a flying camera man um, so yeah I have a drone now that means I can do better footage once I go to my holiday obviously I'm not gonna do it in the city unless I'm in some conspicuous place that I can use it um, but yeah, it, I will have to grab another battery for it and probably a charger because my drone charges for like, I don't know, literally three hours or four hours when I hook it up onto computer and that's not good. I think with the, with the charger it charges faster. Now I'll have to check that and I have to buy anyway the battery so it's like another 80 quid because the battery is 50 pounds I think. And the charger is like 30 pounds or something like that so it's like another 80 quid if we want. Um, I don't know how much 128 gigabytes of the fastest SD card they had I bought. I spent 40 quid on the SD card alone. Because when I ordered for this SD card, I used it for my camera recording on the helmet right now. So that's what, that's what you get. Um, I don't really have any good places to go. I will try to go f further on. It was just like a, a test flight for now, let's call it. 
Now I can I can try again. I have to press and hold down. And she's gonna take off. Not to hit any cars. Go further there and go up. How how much up it can go? I don't know. I don't know where's the height. Twenty meters. That's it. Twenty one, twenty two, thirty meters. Forty meters. Where are you? Over there. Dude, seriously, go forward. Distance 40 meters about. So now, because I can't see anything because of the sun, so now I will press record again and slowly turn it round like that. And I will try to go higher in a moment. So this is 2.7k, should be. So you get, it will be all right for my camera that is recording right now on my helmet, since I am using that's going higher. I'm I'm moving it to the side to the side. Twenty five meters. Can I go higher? Sixty meters. You can see London over there. Look at that. Obviously, I'm talking to you on the camera, uh, but I will be showing the footage from the drone as I'm talking. So you won't see the drone's footage, as in the sound from the drone, because you're gonna hear. If it has a mic, you're gonna hear only fucking wind noise, nothing else. Look at that. That's that city over there. And Canary Wharf. Where is my drone? Where is that motherfucker? Over there! <laughs> it's hard for me to find it. Okay, come down a bit, mate. I don't know how much. 74% battery you have. Wow, it takes him a while to fly down. Ah, there you are. I don't know if it's... Yeah, let's go this way. Now down, 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 down. Yeah, I have to look at the drone, what I'm doing, really. And I can turn off the recording at this stage. Let's just show you. The sun is not helping me here. It's this thing. There you go. Not this way. This is like a small helicopter, mate. <laughs> okay, we can land this thing. No, land it. That's it. I need to buy legs for it or something. Okay, I think you had enough. Hey, it didn't use that much battery to be honest. I didn't fly it for very long. But it still has three bars. I charged it full, so it was full for sure. But there you go, that's that's 2.7k camera, which is much better than this one when it comes to like, you know, as you can see it moves with the thing, it's so stable, and you will see it on the footage. So the camera is so stable, man. It moves up and down and sideways and rotates and everything. So it's very stable camera. So we'll have nice shots. Uh, to turn it off, I have to like... And that's it, you wanna turn off. Oh, you're not. Yeah, it turned off. And now folding it, it was this one first. So this one second. this one and this one so besides the drone itself let me put my remote control over here so besides the drone now you see the footage from my camera obviously I have this case so I bought this case for I don't know 15 pounds something like that I didn't spend much on it I bought this as well um, that was cheap it's just to hold those stupid propellers a bit 
I do bottom and top as well, both just a bit so that they don't kind of flare around. That's it. And then the camera itself has a protector. If I can find it, there you go. Just need to make sure it's straight that protector. That's perhaps one of the most annoying things about this camera. It just moves. Stop moving. Yeah, you have to like put it in really nice. There you go. Fiddly as hell. So that's my drone. Uh, you get propellers with this drone. So I have four propellers which I can change. Uh, you can buy more. Screwdriver, I have that with me at all times just in case. Obviously the remote control comes with the drone. Just press it. I say it turns off. I have different uh, USB cables to connect to your computer uh, computer to your uh, phone. You can use any phone to be honest. Um where is that? I don't need that up anymore. Okay. And turn that off. Fuck off, will you? For now. Uh, so this you have for um, USB-C, you have for iPhone, I think, and you have for all the type of phones, I think, as well. So uh, this uh, unscrews, and you can put them here. You have nice slots for that. That unscrews the the joysticks kind of thing, and then you can put them. If you never saw a drone, I suppose put them in here you don't have to have a specific kind of place to the remote controller actually lasts quite a bit and it charges your phone uh, you have some other USB cables and stuff like that but like I said it's not that bad uh, I wanted to test it out in like in field in reality kind of thing so when I was uh, alluding to this video before I was waiting on this first so I was waiting on the uh, on the case so I wanted to have the case yeah the keys are with me so I wanted to have the case first um, before I take it even out from the box now the case arrived once the case arrived with the uh, what was it called with the SD card I didn't take it out because I already had the XL camera Sorry, no, the SD card came with the drone. I'm, I'm talking shit at this stage. So the SD card came with the drone and I was waiting on that case. So I was waiting on the case. But once the case arrived, I already had my camera with me. Wait a minute. That's it. So I already had my camera with me, the um, XL Pro, right? And because of that, I put the SD card, new SD card, because it needs faster SD card than I had in my um, X, like Ghost X. So it needs a faster SD card. <coughs> Excuse me. And because of that, I used the one from the drone. So then when once the case arrived, I didn't have the SD card. And then once, you know, uh, I needed nice weather for that as well, because you cannot like fly it in rain or anything like that. The, the SD card and everything is exposed, really. So you, you, you shouldn't really fly it in rain, I say. It might just damage it or something. So that's why I said I need nice w weather to fly it. And then, you know, uh, I used the SD card and then I didn't have the time to kind of, you know, <laughs> buy a new one. And then I, I went away. So I went flying. So that's another thing. I think I, I, you know, I can't remember records yet. So I went flying, I couldn't like, you know, do anything about that and then I returned and now you have the footage and, you know, the whole mystery is out. Because that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go this way. Just turn around. Came back. Where I... Um, ah, my, my jacket can be open, it's hot. Today. So yeah, that's... Uh, I have my wallet. And my keys. Uh, actually, I might uh, close the jacket because it's quite cold when you go like f 15 miles an hour or something. Crazy. 
So yeah, that's my new toy. It's a drone from DJI Mini SE, Mini 2 SE. Um, to be honest, I'm pretty happy with it. You know, it's like I need to buy a, a new camera. Uh, no, sorry, not camera. Uh, battery with a charger so that it charges better. Uh, but other than that, I'd say, you know, I'm pretty satisfied with the drone. And it was, as I said, the drone itself, if I total everything it will be 300 pounds but the drone itself is not 300 pounds it's like 260 it's like comparable to my XO Pro which is interesting since uh, it's a flying camera it doesn't have 4k don't get me wrong it does not have 4k but I'm not gonna use 4k on my drift that's the point so I bought a flying camera and I bought it before my drift and I wanted to do a video about it, but then I was waiting on the case and then this and that, and then, you know, the fucking camera broke. You know, my my normal camera is I, I had problems charging it and <laughs> just a constant stream of misfortune. And then, okay, finally, finally you get this video. I should probably zip myself up because it's kind of cold and I don't want to be ill again. Yes, that's probably a good idea. And also, I was flying the drone in a helmet. So next time when I'm going to do this, I'm probably not going to wear my helmet. But this time I was just giving you commentary on what I see and stuff like that. Uh, it's hard for me to see on my phone because of the glare. It's like the sun was literally uh, glaring at me. Literally. So that was difficult for me. To, I had to literally turn around from my drone. The opposite way. Look, the opposite way. Excuse me, and then I could see the screen on my phone. The screen on my phone. So that's what I'm saying. You know, so it's crazy uh, when the sun is in your face. I do have sunglasses, but it's like you know, I'm already hot in my helmet. So there, that's my new toy. That's the whole mystery I was talking about. You got a few minutes of footage, I suppose, like two minutes maybe. Um, of footage because I didn't want to stay there for a long time. It's not really the best place to put the drone through, especially with me, everything on me basically. Like, you know, I have a helmet on and stuff like that. It's it's quite hot when you stand around in your in your stuff. But obviously, when I go to my uh, a trip, and it might be the, at the end of this month or beginning of the next month, I'm thinking about it because it's if it's weather like this, I don't mind doing it this month. But if it's the weather, like they say, it's gonna rain this whole month, on and off, then I don't give a shit about that, my thinking. So I don't want, want to go in rain, that's one thing. I don't want to ride around in rain, because if I will be forced to, I will have to do it in rain. So no flying drones, uh, it's just gonna be me and my camera on the, on the bike, which is annoying. I bought the drone for my trips. I want to use it. I want to send the pictures, uh, the pictures, the footage to my friend as well. I think that's gonna be too big of a footage. I'll, I'll just show him. Yeah, watch this video on YouTube. That's my video. So he doesn't even know I have a channel. I think maybe he does. I say no, no, she's given. <laughs> yeah. So uh, interesting stuff, you know. I've never flown a drone, even though my friend owns it. And I saw my friend like a week ago, literally, and he owns the drone. I didn't take it from him and f like flown it or anything. I wanted to, I don't want him to break it. I never, fl I didn't fly a drone in my life. I, that was my first experience flying a drone out in the open, not in my garden, just activating it basically. Because I had to activate it. The whole process was annoying. I was like fucking confused. Um, I was confused, uh, annoyed and everything in between, man. It's like, seriously, the whole process, like go to the app store, right? Or the play store, whatever, you know, your phone is. In my case, it's a play store. So you go there, you download their app and it doesn't work. And then I went to, because I, I searched for a problem, like I downloaded the app, I've connected to the fucking drone after a while finally, because they don't tell you exactly how you're supposed to connect to the drone. So I connected to the drone and everything, and it's like fucking not ready, unable to fly. 
It's like, what the fuck is this? No, why, why is it this time? No, it's like, is it broken already or something? I didn't even use it once. So I went on the internet, it's like, oh, this error message pops out, he's looking for uh, around forums, and it's like the guy said, oh no, you have to actually download the application from their website. You cannot actually download the app for flying your drone, the one I was using. You can't actually download it from like an app store. No, you have to download it from their website, and especially if you have the, well, perhaps maybe app store. I don't have a, a, an iPhone, so I don't know, but when it comes to Android, you have to go to their website, download the APK file and download it and install it on your phone from their website because it's the latest patch. You cannot, you cannot download the one from the Play Store because it's not going to work. It's an old version and it's not going to work. So you have to, if you ever buy that drone, know that you have to go to their website, download the APK for that application, for that app, flying app. The, the, the DJI, DJI Go or something like that, it's called, and you have to download it. Google, Google even says like, oh, it's a harmful application, bullshit it is, you know, it, like the, Google wants, doesn't want you to install anything because they didn't check it, bullshit. Now, just download it, install it, uh, you, you know, remove Google, <laughs> um, ignore Google and uh, yeah that's the app if you ever buy it you have to do it and you will have to register and activate your drone in there because they're paired with the thing controller you already have so they're already paired you just have to activate it you don't have to pay for it like any activation fees or anything like that no 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 it's just you just have to activate it that's all that's all there is to it okay let's go today today was a good day I rode around uh, before I found that place where I put the drone up. Uh, I roamed around quite a bit, like half an hour around Epping Forest, different roads. I explored some new roads. Maybe I will do that right around uh, in another video. Like uh, when I don't have any topic to talk about, I can just throw that in, and you can have a look at the at the roads I've been going on. I, I pressed it a bit sometimes, so it's like I was going like 40, 50 sometimes. Usually I don't post that videos, but you know, I do know these roads. So, and I do break before turns and stuff like that because I'm, I'm caution, cautious. It's one thing. And the other thing is, yeah, I'm cautious because uh, I have a drone in my thing. I have a fucking 250 pounds camera on my helmet and I have myself, which is uh, literally, there's no price on me. <laughs> you cannot put price on me. So yeah, anyway. Uh, yeah, that's my video. That's the, that was the whole mystery, basically. I have a drone now. As uh, yeah, a toy. It's a toy for me because I'm not in any shape or form a professional photographer. Even my ex-girlfriend told me like, "Oh, you're a shit photographer, man." And I am probably I am the shittiest photographer you can get because it just doesn't interest me that much. Like I record, and I want the quality to be alright when it's on my helmet, but it's, I don't need any specific parameters on that crap. When you go to your drone, there's like shit ton of parameters. I, I don't even know what I'm doing, mate. Like put everything to alter and, and fuck it. <laughs> it's like, I have no idea what those things mean. <laughs> and also, I don't know how to take good pictures. Like, you know, it's like, I, I can I can shot like a, a scene or something, like flying. If I learn to fly properly, this thing. But other than that, it was like, uh, yeah, pictures wise, my friend takes pictures with his drone uh, rather than uh, movies uh, the, you know clips he usually takes pictures of very short clips and um, whereas i'll be doing the whole panoramic views and stuff like that so, so i'll be in and obviously in nature most of the time unless because i'm going north of the country next to the scottish border there might be a lot of castles and stuff like that so i might be putting the drone there to the task and then you know photographing or the filming the whole castle uh from that point of view like from the uh drones kind of bird's eye view it's kind of thing 